hello guys. Right, I want to go through a lot of your guys' comments today. There is much that I want to explore. I'm probably going to watch some more videos as well, guys, and I'm going to risk playing the, the sound on my stream, I think, but I'll just drop it quite low uh, and see how we go. Uh, what do I want to go through first? That is the question. Right, let's go through. Lucifer Humor, Chloe's 100% done edition. I'm dying to see this. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, that is perfect, detective. My shenanigans leading to a break in the case. That is quintessential. Oh, I love music like this. <laughs> and the eye roll. Now you're getting it. Did anyone look suspicious? Well, where do we start, detective? I mean, look at those big, strong hands. Perfect for squeezing the life out of someone. Oh, <laughs> ginger lad. Soulless <laughs> bastards. Give even me the creeps. Stay. <laughs> okay, wait. You and I. Well, there is no you and I. There's Marshall, no thank you for the follow. How are you doing? The department needs you because you're the one. We're the just one. watching a bit of Lucifer. You're quite adorable when you're flustered. I, I'm not flustered. I'm not I'm not right. <laughs> Off you pop. All right, just sit down, man. Yeah, just sit down. Uh, she looks so different there. <laughs> they both do, actually. Yeah, yeah, but on, on her. Oh, yeah. just kinda. How's right. your is your now day not not going too well today? I hope it turns around stage. watching this stream. I'm, I'm doing well. Right. Thanks for asking. And she, well, she's a cop for starters. Fish and chips, <laughs> salt and pepper. Lucifer. Oh, sorry, Ian. You need to get onto Lucifer though. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> Why, Lord? How I love that horse? someone's done this. Hot horse. <laughs> Face, you look a bit like a doll. <laughs> God, she does a lot of eye rolls. I mean, I knew she did, but when they put it all together. Oh, hug, hug to you, Marshall. In a car? Because I could really use your expertise. You're not busy, are you? Actually, Shocker, I am busy, and it's really not a good day for your Luciferness. You're just, you're too you. All right, the most effective way to do this. I hope the drug dealer line is in there. Twelve seconds later. Attention, lawyers. Hello. <laughs> Nearly had her. Thank you for the hydrate as well, Marshall. <laughs> Luciferness isn't even a word. It is now. A little dance party. Why not? Susan, the morning star. And I love. Drugs. Drugs. Love, Love him. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Can't get enough. And I have cash. Money. Mm, that I love spending on, on drugs. drugs. <laughs> him trying to take a selfie with the corpse, though. No. 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 Not cool. Smoking weed at a crime scene, if one remembers that one. To a crime scene? We certainly did not. I found it here. You found it. You found it here at a crime scene. Yes. In the Dun Beetle's car. You smoked evidence? Well, it would have gone to waste otherwise. That's really good stuff you just ground under your heel. Wow. <laughs> I love this show. It's so good. I loved it, guys. <laughs> it's so fun. It's so fun. <laughs> Let me swap the camera over. All right, this one's called Lucifer in the end, and it goes up to season three, episode 24, guys. This song is one of my favorites, by the way. Thank you, uh, Jacques Ray. Thank you for the follow. But that's why they make you so Oh, 
Oh, that monster. moment gave me chills, guys. You may think that that's what you are, but every time I look in the mirror, all I, I love this version of in the end. I don't see you that way. You can't have run what you've done. What you truly are. So <sighs> but not so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I had to lose it all. I am the devil. It doesn't even matter. Not to me. I felt better about myself than I had in. Wow. This song, though, guys. Maybe so much so that deep down. Deep down, you know you're a monster. I will find a way to end your infinite misery if it's the last thing I do. If I do this, then she doesn't seem that scary. Step away from me. Oh, I like that transition then. Oh, guys, I cannot wait for you to see my reaction to these episodes at the uh, very end of season three because they were intense. This is the strongest I've ever seen. Cried at that. Cried at that. Oh, the chills! The chills are so real! Maze is such a freaking badass. Jeez Louise, I freaking love it. I freaking love it. Oh, some pro gaming compilations about yeah, all those Nando. Honestly, I'm down, I'm down to watch them. Right, I have another one to watch, and this is a Valorant gameplay. 15 times Shroud was a beast in Valorant. Let me swap back over. Right, guys, let's watch 15 times Shroud was a beast in Valorant. Here we go. Ooh, that is the coolest intro I've ever seen. <laughs> what? What the? Oh. No, 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 yeah. Is that a phantom as well? Through smoke? Okay. <gasps> that was filthy. That last one, that little tap. Good. What? Good call, dude. Good idea, great idea. <laughs> He's so chill as well, it's like, not even phased by the fact that he's just done it. I get one kill and I'm like, did you see that? <laughs> oh my god, I'd have died then. Oh, my, my days. Ah! What's 
Okay, okay. Oh, the judge. Yo, oh, the judge. Wait, who's called your face? Oh, just trolls on the internet. Pentaholics. <laughs> Nikki's reaction to the red wedding it was amazing. Never seen someone cry so much. Oh, she reacted to the red wedding. I need to see that because I freaking loved that episode. I wasn't doing reactions at that point. So I, I watched it off, like, off record. Uh, but I sobbed a lot during that scene, not going to lie. I can't even see his crosshair. Right. Oh. Wow. How? You're actually, so actually how? He's a real life aimbot. At late, Chris. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Oh, pop off. <gasps> no scoped him. He just no scoped him. Sheesh. What is that? Impressing the team. See, that's what I need to learn to do. Like, he pulled so far down on the Phantom then to control the spray. <gasps> There's a reason that he's one of the best. Absolute reason. He's just. I'm peeking mid. Bad idea, but I'm doing it. Can he play every single character as well? I've seen him on. What? 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 <gasps> he's gonna get another ace now, isn't he? He's gonna find the omen, flip him. Oh no. Ow! I can't even think that quick to be able to do it. And he aims as well. <gasps> Thank you. I'm shocked. Um, I got to the point of being paranoid over keeping you safe from spoilers for that episode and it paid off the emotion of watching you react to that episode unspoiled. It was everything I'm all. Oh, I'm so glad you, you think that it was worth it, Nando. But I am sorry that you've you've had to work so hard to keep the keep it spoiler free. Oh, wall bang. Oh. <gasps> Insane! And he's just so chill about it. Shroud, I, I missed that one. He clears something. Yeah, we're good. Their sight's clear. Never mind. Sight was not clear. Sight was not clear. I just, I just can't. I need to just delete the game. I'm never going to be able to play. This is just ridiculous. Ooh! Oh! And he just swaps to his... I... I'm sorry, that's ridiculous. Oh. Am I bad for, for enjoying to see that he actually got killed as well? Just to bring it back to reality that he just did that. That shroud fire, yeah. Insane. It's just how he plays. <laughs> Have you never seen? No, I've never seen shroud play. I obviously know of him because he just got a double kill with that then. Yeah, obviously I know of him, but I haven't seen his gameplay. Three kills with four bullets. He just clutched oh, it. So he just clutched bad. that. It's insane. Built in aimbot. Yes, hella. After the red wedding, I spoke to my dad and said I needed not to watch for a few weeks. I was binging it. He's still like, meh, whatever. Did that not affect him then when he watched it? Because that was just... The red wedding. I needed therapy after that one. Is that... What is his sensitivity as well? That's what I want to know. Oh, he sells his own merch as well. Of course he does. Hey, thank you. It's a chocolate daddy. Okay, man. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, no, do not delete. I'll try not to delete the game, Venice, but 
the way that yesterday went, I was very close, very close to just giving up. The insane thing, Shroud is good, but he's not even top 20 players in the world. To think that there are people above his skill level blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. So we've got 1305 part one on YouTube. But yeah, let's go through some of your guys' comments, eh? Uh, this one, is it? So, Luis, if you're still in the chat, I've just spotted your comment here. Just here to tell how great this episode is. Jensen's acting always on point. That scene with Billy, amazing. But the real greatest scene is Sam saying he read reviews of a strip club. <laughs> you're getting a cheeky heart for that, Luis. That was beautiful. Uh, uh, Aku or Aku says, I think this is the sixth episode in a row rated 10 out of 10 by you. And imagine some people quit after the fifth season. Right. First of all, got a heart your comment. Second of all, so true. The amount of people that watched my reactions when I was doing all the supernatural stuff and I got to season five and they said, Dakara, I beg you, the show ends here. Don't do it to yourself. Don't watch any more of the show. I would have missed out on scenes and episodes like I got in season 13. I just, I can't grasp it. Like, how can you not enjoy that? The premiere of season 13, unreal. Absolutely unreal. I just, oh, I just love it so much. Right, Lena said, oh, this is a lengthy one from Lena. Dean's old coping mechanisms don't really work anymore. Sam is training really hard to make Dean cope and feel better. And he thinks a beer and strippers will help, but they don't. Since that's the old Dean, we have seen that that's not Dean anymore. He wants different things now. True. He used to bottle up his problems with that, but it reaches to a point where you can't keep the same unhealthy things anymore. He wasn't partying and drinking, just had fun. We, we was doing it to forget about the pain and see if that worked, but nope, not anymore. He's so depressed. I noticed he didn't fight the monster who lobotomized people with depression and anxiety. Yep, I think that says it all. It's worrying and shows Dean's suicidal tendencies. 100%. Like, Dean, this, especially, I'll correct that, the beginning of this season, uh, or the first half of this season, Dean was just in self-destruct mode. You can see him slowly just really go in on himself, not feel comfortable expressing any sensitivity. It was all just anger, frustration, and then really rash decision like quick rash decision making and it just makes me very on edge guys very on edge uh 11 43 now we know he wanted to die i honestly i just can't this episode was a bit of a crippler for me to be honest this episode is very heavy emotionally i think it's one of the best i love the speech between dean and billy we had cast back next episode is classic the billy scene guys one of my favorites and that is why i gave this episode a 10 out of 10 like it just shook me i loved that twist absolutely loved it trunks gav says though i'd recognized the mum in this she as i thought had been in previous episodes of supernatural season eight trial and error oh and many stargate oh i remember it was the guy that uh, yeah her so apparently she was in another episode of trial and error season eight did not recognize that well spotted uh, love that scene with billy you and me both toasted freaking loved it okay destiel otp says being seen with the traumatized kid reminded me of his talk with lucas in 103 i i'll be honest i can't remember stuff in 103 it's that long ago i 100 percent need to do a rewatch of the show sammy's better in talking with people in general but dean is great with kids i have spotted that obviously uh, he can relate to being traumatized as a kid. Dean didn't move or put a fight when the ghost was about to drill his head because he wanted to die. Ugh. Ouch, my heart. Yeah, if he can't function normal, he doesn't see a point in living. He had to do stuff that made him happy years ago. His coping mechanism, stands drinking, etc. Well, this is very similar to the other comment as well. So people are definitely picking up on very similar things like character traits with the show, which I love. It shows for good writing, I think. Sam is trying to cheer him up knows how hard this has been on Dean. <laughs> Comments like this <laughs> really tickle me up. 
Uh, not that you'll, you normally look bad. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Love the reactions. You're always in the end game now. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate it. Uh, I needed that laugh, so thank you. Takara, you need to watch 12 Monkeys. That's an old show, right? Because I remember my fella trying to watch that. Uh, the show is amazing and there's some plot twist. Sorry for my English. People always say sorry for my English when their English is unbelievable. <laughs> like, you have nothing to apologise for, Sonia. Crimson, Cordeline, Cash says, when I realised seasons ago, Dean calls everyone who wears sunglasses. Oh, okay, okay. No, hungover is not an excuse. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I didn't realise that. Right, 9.22, not only is he in a ton of bacon, but he's also wearing sunglasses. Yeah, see, Jason also says the same thing there. Uh, Cass is, Cass is back in town. Oh my God, you got to react to Jared's new show, Walker. It's so good. 8.43, to quote the West and musical Wicked for Sam and his hair, toss toss. What? Crap like this. Oh. <laughs> I did love like a mimicking him there. Couldn't help myself. Right. Part two. Here we go. I, I couldn't help but appreciate the fandom in this moment. So Elena says, and I quote, Dean has died 112 times, including the mystery spot episode. And Sam has died seven times. And Kaz has died six times. So... Can we just focus on this number right here? A <laughs> hundred and twelve times. What? <laughs> That's just insane to me. Absolutely insane. Uh, Dialect says, Dean went from dark to light when he heard Cass's voice. Oh, my days. I wanted to like it. But the comment, the comment itself has 69 likes and I'm not going to be the person to change that 69 to 70. So we'll give you a heart. <laughs> Mum crying over her boy. That scene always gets me. I honestly think the mother in this episode did phenomenal. Got me as well. Uh, and, and Andy says, the song that plays when Dean and Cass reunite, it's never too late to start all over again. And when he hears Cass's voice and suddenly the light illuminates Dean's face. Excellent symbolism. You've got to appreciate symbolism. Marissa says, it's okay to cry. It means you're invested and loving the show. Love the ending with Cass, seeing the boys again. Really well done scene with the setting, music and the acting. Excited for the next episode. Yes, them. Also, your opinions on Dean as a Dean girl is completely valid. I'm shook that someone says that. I'm a Cass boy myself, but I can tell when my favourite character needs to sort his shit out. Exactly, Alan. Definite heart from you. And I'm going to reply because thank you. Thank you, Alan. I appreciate that. 1200 miles says, if I'm counting right, this is Dean's 110. See? Oh, we have conflicting facts here. 110th death or 112? Who knows? I could be missing one or two. So they've owned up that they might be missing some out. So I'm assuming... Uh, the comment at the top, which was Elena, was correct. Billy is deaf. I love her. Same. Sorry, I'm reading this really quickly in my head. Thank you so much, Lena. I appreciate that. Uh, George Hale says the Steppenwolf song at the end is perfect. They do such a good job picking music for the mood of the show. I concur. But the one that gets me every time is that like violin instrumental music. I, I can't remember the name of it right now. I'm sure Angel will know it. It gets me every single time. Like as soon as I can hear that music in the background, I'm like, no, nope. checked out. It's a no from me. Tony says, I love how all the season 13 episodes so far have been 10 out of 10 because I personally love them. Yes, Tony, I'm here for it. Never apologise for getting emotional. We love it. Not because we want to see you cry, but because it shows how much you care for these characters the way that we do. I wish so much that I could watch Supernatural for the first time again. Great video. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Sri Rag says, oh man, I've been waiting for you to drop this video. Huge fan, Dakara. Keep making the reactions we all love him 
my absolute pleasure. Then this episode, I cried again, Dean broke my heart, he lost his faith, he is so depressed, bordering suicidal, heartbreaking, Cass is his win, like you said, he will restore his faith yet again. God love Cass. I mean, Chuck, you love Cass, I'm sure you do, you brought him back. You're just so attached to the characters now because it has been so long, and this is why every little thing hits different and it's so easy to cry. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Thank you for the support there, Raneen, thank you. So many images that happen as Dean drives and answers that call. As one noted, face going from dark to light, the little cross behind Dean as he gets close. My favorite is a song they picked. They are famous for using much more well-known classic rock. And while Steppenwolf is one uh, most known, mostly for Born to be Wild. It's one of their deep cuts, at least nowadays. The song is called Never Too Late. They play most of the song, also pretty rare since that's more costly and the lyrics go. Oh, and, the, and she's left the lyrics as well. You ledge. I bet reading the lyrics would make the scene even more impactful, you know? You know, on second rewatch. Uh, Seal says, uh, in my opinion, this is one of the best episodes in Supernatural. There are more, but this one's dynamic and it's just so perfect. Funny he should say that because in my breakdown to season 13, this is a, one of the scenes that really does stand out in my head. Uh, not only because of Billy, but the library scene as well. Like Everything had so much power behind it and I freaking loved it so much. 11.40, the writers are monsters for cutting it off right there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Get a grip, Dakara. Get a ruddy grip. Um, but it's very emotional. <laughs> okay, it's very emotional. Um, and I agree, Sunbra, I agree. Uh, love, love, love your reactions. Never change. Love your reaction when Dean injects himself. You said what we all thought. Oh, for bleep's sake. Mez says, so now that you've seen this episode, the time has come. Supernatural parody 2. Right, guys. I'm going to say it now, there's only 33 of you right now, but if you can pass this message on to any that you see in my comments, I will be reacting to the Hillywood parody at number two. I will. <laughs> it's going to happen. I've not forgotten about it. I know that it's there. It's on my to-do list and it will happen. But be patient with me. Uh, T says, yes, I've waited for so long to see your reaction to Billy being dead. Maybe more twists and turns to come. Love this season. I love your reactions. These are the sort of comments that I love. Very to the point. Says what they love. Uh, the twist, that, that the part of the episode that has just been amazing because Billy being death is just wow. And like a cheeky thank you at the end. Thank you so much, T. Medicine doctor masks are a big no from me. <laughs> It's a no from me. <laughs> uh, Cassie's back. Billy's death. Dean dead again. Takara tried. I think that comes. <laughs> Truly wonderful reaction as always, Takara. Thank you as always. Ian, if you're still around, <laughs> I don't know if you're lurking, <laughs> but thank you for this comment. It's really made me chuckle. And Maya says, uh, I love this episode so much, but I'm so excited for your next one. No spoilers, obviously, but the next is my all-time favourite, the entire show. Yes then, can't wait. I hope you're not disappointed with my reaction if it's your favourite, favourite one. Uh, over, the, over the years, Supernatural have had so many great tunes in their episode, but that song fit in so well with the ending, scenes this episode, great reaction. Oh, sweet, don't be sorry about the crying. That scene and the scene where Lucifer is raging and crying about the priest's death in season one. Uh, watching them both right after eat, each other uh, got into my feels because at the time I had lost... <gasps> at the time I lost my best friend. And on top of that, I was in that place. Oh, my days. Oh my days, let's just, hopefully. Uh, Mr. says, I'd like to think that all the books on the shelf with Dean's different deaths are all the ways he died when Sam was reliving the same death over and over. I mean, to be fair, that has crossed my mind as well. Um, 
let's just hope that that was it <laughs> and then it's never going to happen again uh but you know probably not the case is it let's be honest uh, and says i like your honest reactions it lets me experience the show again with fresh eyes uh, be you and if you need to preserve your experience give the comment section a skip sometimes god bless like some people are just lovely you know Alexis says, oh my god, I forgot about Billy Death version. This was a huge twist and one that I adored as well. Right, Jaren says, when I saw that Billy revealed for the first time, I was just as shocked as you were. Mark says, damn it, Dakara, why do you keep making me want to cry? Showing me your emotions. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mark. I just feel things. I just feel things, Mark. My apologies. <laughs> new job love it <laughs> bill isn't got a new job um so glad you kept the background music for those last scenes i remember that scene it made me so emotional and i got goosebumps yes then credit to angel uh a am says the episode never fails to raise my heart b is one of my absolute favorites the flow of the writing firstly a fantastic writer by the name Steve Yoke, is it Yoke? Uh, but yeah, where I get so, where I got many emotional punches from this episode after the acting and just recklessness of Dean, of course, was Sam's depression to help his brother. You could see Dean losing himself in my eyes, trying methods to cope that wouldn't work anymore. Is these two, they've made family now to do that, especially to Dean, who became incredibly vulnerable. You have to understand after Sam. In some cases, he couldn't even talk to Sammy's my baby brother. Ah, I know, I know. The, the whole baby brother thing gets me every time. But when he comes back, he's Dean Wynn, but they both needed him, and that melts me. It melts me too. It really does. Can't wait for the next step. Dean a girl since day one, but I've got a mad at him as well. There will be lots of crying in the future, no doubt. A lot of people hated Billy's death. But... <gasps> Is that true? People didn't like Billy's death. How? Can't relate. Cannot relate. I think she slays it. Absolutely slays it. I love her so much. Her voice is just like silk as well. Shame for the negative comments you're getting. I'm early for most reactions, so I don't see anything that's too bad. So you have to deal with them. Um, part for you, Angelica. Have you been actual fan? Nope. I am not going to cry this time. Just nope. Ends up crying. <laughs> So true, so true. Just wanted to say that you're doing a cracking job. Ugh, you e-rig. Sometimes I just need to hear that because I feel like a failure. What people forget is that when they watch the show, they did they did not have any preconceived ideas of opinions, which is a key part of watching any show. Don't let them get you down. People do forget that though as well. Um, it's like one of those where they're like, uh how did you not know that and it's like i bet if we were to rewind time and watch your reaction to it they didn't even like call it themselves but in their heads they did because of obviously how time's passed i'm probably gonna have to leave it there for now on that uh and then right which patreon comments do you guys want to see going on a bit of a tangent there but thank you so much holy hell and <laughs> like choke choked on my own saliva then and mr g perry thank you for gifting five tier one subs how many subs do we have here on this channel right now 44 subscribers guys <laughs> thank you so much thank you thank you garrett thank you say maybe one division uh avatar spender and another pilot react oh there it is attack on titan i loved the pilot of attack on titan like, I absolutely loved it. Let's go through your comments, guys, on Attack on Titan. I don't think I did this already, so here we go. Ryan says, I personally would love to see you react to... Honestly, can I just point out as well, guys? Like, I know that I'm not as, like, active uh, replying to comments uh, for, you know, time restrictions, personal reasons, you, you name it. But I always find the time to read them. And I know you guys can't say see who likes what. But just to point out, this was March 11th. I read your comments, guys, and I like them. I'm sorry that I'm not replying to as many as I'd like to, but I do read them. 
Anyway, I digress. Uh, Ryan Phillips says, I personally would love to see React to Attack on Titan as a series. It's definitely one of the best anime to come out in 2010s, which is saying something. Loving the positive positivity there. Uh, Louise says, I was wondering when this would pop out. I've been waiting since I found out you reacted to this one. And man, did I enjoy it. I really don't know anything about the fan base of this anime. I just focus on the show. Uh, only and it's awesome. Would love to keep seeing your reactions on this one. The music is always so epic, gives me chills every time. And yes, the animation is on point. The one thing you should really be careful about is the openings, the intro song. They always have spoilers in. Don't know why, but that's apparently a thing in the anime world and a great thing about the show is the unexpected things that happen. So maybe you can skip those. And yeah, maybe you'll need a moderator like in Supernatural because people can drop some things and affect your reaction. That aside, I really hope you can keep this anime and rewatch alongside your reactions. Hope you're okay and see you in the next video. Thank you so much, Louise. So ECU says, anime watchers as a whole love watching people react to their favorite shows and many will welcome you to the Attack on Titan fandom with open eyes. They will be excited to discuss the show with you and many love to hear what reactors think is going to happen next. There will be a huge response to you watching the show. However, haters are very vocal minority in almost every anime fandom I've seen. A difficult fan base is putting it very mindly. Off the top of my head, I can think of a few issues. Okay. Let me quickly, let me quickly go back to full webcam. Someone asked for one division as well, so let's go on one division. Here we go. Uh, Pentaholic says, I don't know. Many might disagree with me, but I don't know if you would be better if watching the movies before you continue, just so you get to know the characters a bit better and develop that connection to them. So when stuff happens, it has more power. Makes total sense. I'm very excited for this. Also, I know your reaction will be mint, so I'm going to watch it ASAP. I, I'm sure you're in the chat right now, so I don't need to... I was going to type that reply then, but you're right here. I see you. <laughs> and totally know where you're coming from when it comes to the movies and stuff. My one concern is the movies take up so much time and I've not got that like passion behind watching the movie. I am more of a DC, DC girl myself. I'm gonna get shot for that uh, but it doesn't mean that I don't enjoy the Marvel movies but I, I never want to be like I need to see this I need to see this but when it comes to TV shows that is my jam so I know that WandaVision is going to be something that I'm interested in and I know I read one of the comments that said I can't remember it's from so my apologies but I got the notification and I read it and it was something about uh, Disney Channel and they were saying that there are clips on the Disney Channel that will uh, make things more clear for me and they're much shorter. So I'm probably going to go down that route, guys. Yeah, a lot of uh, similar views saying that they feel I should be watching the films. It was Ashley. Ashley, you're the guy, you're the lady guy. I think you're a lady. It says there is actually a series of short snippets on Disney Plus called Marvel Studios Legends and there are about eight minute synopsis of Wanda and Vision's character arcs. To me, that sounds like perfection. That is just what I need. See, I'll probably end up doing that, guys, if that's cool with you. And then explore WandaVision as well. Because the timing on that just seems way more realistic for me. Right, guys, I'm going to have to leave it here, I think. I am going. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone that's been in this chat. And yeah, hope to see you all soon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs>